this session, we're going to look at the budget plan actual report and how to drill it down. All right, to start off, I'm going to go into accounting and select budget plan actual. I'm going to put in my date range and this info base has 2018, so I will select 2018. Oops, sorry, and just enter that again. The 31st of December 2018. Okay, and I will run report. So this is my budget actual plan report. So what does this mean? This means that here on the side, I have all my accounts, income, expenses, and so on. These are all my accounts. It would be mostly income, expenses, sales, and cost of sales because these are only your income statement accounts that will appear in your budget plan actual. So this column has your, sorry, this column has your actual. Your actual will mean everything that you have spent or earned, depending on the type of the account, in the time frame that I have selected over here. Okay, then you have the budget column. This is what was entered in your budget. This is what you've budgeted for, your approved budget that was signed off by DSGB and the principal and so on. Okay, then here would be your over budget amount. So this will depend on how much you have exceeded the budget or how much you still have left to spend. So let's have a look. Um, let's have a look mostly at the expenses because I can see these are the ones that have more information. So let's have a look at cleaning, for example. You have actually spent a thousand rand in cleaning, but you've budgeted for 50,000 Rand for cleaning. So this means you have 49,000 Rand left to be used. Then you have here percentage of budget. This means the percentage of the budget that you have used for this specific account. So in this case, in this one, you've used only 2% of what you've budgeted for. That's simply what it means. It's really just that. Um, Let's see here, for example, sport expenses. So as you can see, you did not budget for it at all, but you have spent 9,000. So this means that you are 9,000 rand over budget. Okay, now if you want to see what exactly you've spent this money with, you can just double click. So for example, tuck shop expenses, I will just double click here on the amount and I will say transactions. And it will give me a list of all the receipts that I have. In this case, I only have one payment that I made. I can double click to open it up and I can see here, oh, okay, this was it. And this was the transfer, the reference in the bank statement. That was the date and so on. All right. If you want to print the budget, you can print it with that button there. If you want to save it, you can just click there, change the name and put the correct format that you want. That's pretty much it for our budget.